Here comes the heavy lifter of our fleet, the DMAG AC220. And, she, and as you can see, she's a fine model. So the 220 is made by IMC Models. It's one of 150 made. It is a five axle crane that has seven sections in the boom. And as you can see, IMC did a great job on the livery as nearly every part of the crane is covered in decals or warning signs. The only issue that I had with the model is that the jib, the fly jib, didn't fit flush with the head of the boom. And when contacting IMC, unfortunately, they couldn't sort it out as they didn't have one available. However, I did have an issue with the winch drum and the outrigger beam, and they sorted me out no problem with that. One improvement on the model would be for them to have a metal winch drum as in the tower crane dismantle video that I did I pretty much wore out the drum and the key does not work in the drum anymore When you're getting tired and you want a lift to work, who are you want to call but the Volvo FH 8x4 tractor and no spoon trailer. It's a model made by WSI. The tractor unit looks great in the delivery and the decal, decals of the model really mirror the real thing. Tractor is also highly detailed. The ramps at the rear are very detailed with realistic securing chains. The bed of the trailer also extends, which is ideal for the longer loads. And a nice little surprise the cap tilts. The city slicker of the fleet, the DMAG AC45. This is a model made by IMC Models. It is one of 155. It's a three axle crane, four section boom. And as you can see, IMC did a great job on the livery, as nearly every part of the crane is covered in decals. It is also a highly detailed model, just like its bigger brother, the 220. And just like every other model, it has a license plate. So they know where to send the speeding tickets. When you're disassembling from the job site, why not load up your counterweights on the Mercedes Across 6x4 and Notaboom ballast trailer? This is a model by IMC Models 
and just like the Scania and the Volvo, the tractor unit looks great in the livery. And the decals really mirror the real thing. Something different from IMC compared to WSI is the tractor units have an opening door on both sides. However, just like WSI, the ballast trailer also comes with a spare wheel. You're never going to be caught flat on the road. So with the Note Boom trailer, you have a nice uh, wooden floor decal and the rear wheels move together in tandem with those tight corners. The all-rounder of the fleet, the AC100. So this is a model made by Conrad Models. It was a, one of 150. It's a four axle crane uh, with a four section boom. There's quite a reasonable level of decals on the model compared to the 220. The model is a good 10 years older than the 220, so it would have been a highly detailed model back in the day. The only issue that I had with Conrad models is that they have no winch key for the drum, so you have to use your thumbs to move the hook up and down. And for a stop motion like the tower crane disassembly, it would have been a pain in the hole. But we will be using it in an upcoming diorama, so we will see how my thumbs get on with the winch drum. When you don't fancy carrying your counterweights on the back of the crane, Load them up on a truck and get on moving. The Scania Topline 8x4 and Notaboom Ballast Trailer. The model is made by WSI Models. And as you can see, the tractor unit looks great in delivery with the decals mirroring the real thing. A touch of class of the model is the light bar on top of the cab with spotlights and beam lights. There's nice detailing on the trailer with timber decking. The trailer also comes with a spare wheel, if you didn't know, and I'll show you where to find it. It doesn't want to come out for me. There we go. When you get a flat, you know where to go. And you can see the light by there. Very realistic. 